what? No. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's me, Sarah, back with another video. I also just wanna say sorry for the horrible lighting. It's like almost eight o'clock at night and it's already dark outside. And that's my lighting that I use when I film these videos. So just excuse the lighting for uh, this time. Okay. I went apple picking for the first time. It was so cool. I don't know, I just, I've always wanted to go. I've always seen people post pictures um, and I've seen and have heard stories of people going and how it's so much fun. Um, it doesn't take that long to actually go apple picking um, and it depends what size and how much that you're getting as well. Um, so it was just, I don't know, it was just a very cool experience and I would definitely go again um, I highly suggest going. Um, I also want to go to a pumpkin patch, but that's going to be a little bit more later in fall, hopefully, if I ever go to one. But, um, yeah. So, I also want to add into this video as well that I'm going to show what I'm going to do with the apples. Um, so two out of the three things I'm going to try and do later tomorrow, um, but you'll see later in the video. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say what they are. Actually, yeah, should I say what they are or should I let it be a mystery? I am going to make applesauce and I'm going to make apple crisp where you put them in the oven and they're, they're basically like dehydrated. Um, fruit. So that's what I'm going to try and accomplish tomorrow. So let's just get right into the video. Can we just appreciate how perfect this apple looks right now? Uh, no. <laughs> We got so far and we're we're all kind of done we are just gonna head back to that's all right <laughs> come on becca is it heavy so we're just gonna head back you know what 
Let me just turn turn the camera around real quick. So we are going to head back to pay for the apples. There's only $35 for that big huge bucket, which is crazy. It's not expensive. And so we're doing all the work. Really, Sarah? And we're dropping them. <laughs> so we're just gonna head back over to the other side, over there, pay for the apples, and get some more stuff. Definitely does not feel like fall out here. It's like 80 degrees. It's kind of cooled down a little bit though, but see you in a little bit when we get inside. I'll do a little, little tour around it, so. How's it going over there, guys? You need to be carrying this instead of your mother. All right. guys so now we are going to get in to where making stuff out of the apples that we got from picking so you'll just see in the next like couple minutes um, me uh, my mom and then a friend of mine Rosita who's in my past videos um, making the apple chips and then as well as the applesauce. So we're just gonna get right into that. Sauce. I ended up looking a recipe on Pinterest and kind of switched it up a little bit so after they cooked the applesauce they did um, apple butter and this most of these ingredients were for the apple butter but I kind of made a mistake and didn't really read it through but we just put it all in because their applesauce was technically not sweetened so this was just gonna sweeten it up so what we did was did three-fourths cup of water we did one-fourth teaspoon of salt we did one-eighth teaspoon of pumpkin we did um, one-third cup and a little bit more of light brown sugar because it called for dark brown sugar um, and we didn't have that and then I did two cinnamon sticks and then we also did one fourth actually one half teaspoon of vanilla um, so that was just basically all that we used to make the applesauce so we're just gonna see what it turns out like within the next eight hours or so so stay tuned All 
right, so we're just putting the finishing touches on these apple crisps. This one's not gonna fit. Just eat it. Guess we'll just eat this one. Put some of this on there. Probably have to do some oopsies. That was oops. That was. It's kind of a lot on those ones. Maybe I should just use my fingers. Oh, yeah. Right? Anybody else know that video? Dude, that's a lot. I know. Then these are gonna go in the oven for two hours, guys. That's a really long time. But hey, update on my homemade applesauce. It is almost done. It is good so far without it being mashed. And yeah, so in about two hours, I'll finish that up, whip that up, and it should be done. And we should see the final product of that. Mm. So we we'll just have to sit and wait for a little bit. So we'll see you guys then. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video of the apple picking and the making of two different recipes with the apples that we picked. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I'll also try and link a few of the recipes down below that I used for the applesauce and for the apple crisp. I kind of made my own judgment on a few of them. Like I said with the applesauce, um, I made a mistake, but it was okay because the stuff that I would have used for the apple butter is stuff that I would have used to sweeten up the applesauce anyways. And I tried it and it was actually very delicious. Um, so I'm proud of that. And I can't wait to try the apple crisp. So yeah, I had a really awesome time filming this for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy. Also, please leave some comments down below and let me know what you'd be interested for a next or in future YouTube videos. And don't forget to be kind, be strong, and be lovely. Until next time, Sarah out.